Hello, everyone. This is Dan Calloway with the Western North Carolina Linux Users Group Asheville. I'm the webmaster for the organization, and this is the website, the Drupal website, that uh, I developed recently, and it has a lot of information. If you haven't gone up and looked at it yet, please uh, peruse the website and uh, open an account. Register for the account over here and uh, start taking advantage of it. This is a website where you can... Uh, Help other people with problems they have if they have issues in Linux, or you can get help, seek help, and, and find it. But today, what I want to do is uh, I want to show you an application that I've developed that I've incorporated into this website that allows you to set up your own uh, RSS news feed uh, and get your news brought to you directly to your desktop each morning so that you can read your news and you won't have to go out and search for it. Uh, to access the RSS newsfeed, and I'll talk more about it here in a moment, but to access it, you'll just need to go up to the menu here, which is the hamburger menu, and left click it, and then come down, and then there's an RSS news link here on the main menu. Left click that, and it opens up this site. Now, what you're looking at is a Docker container application that I developed and I made available through a domain that I set up called landlocal.asyscom.com uh, using port forwarding so that you can access it via the web. So from wherever you are, you should be able to uh, access our website, click that link, and this screen should open up for you. All right, now what you're looking at, uh, well, let me first of all talk about what an RSS is. If you're not familiar with RSS, what that stands for is really simple syndication and it is a means whereby websites around the world that produce news and, and other things that have RSS feeds um, can bring a news to you directly through your application which is this one this is only one of many applications and it's called a RSS news aggregator all right, this one's called Fresh RSS. I, I like this one, particularly like this one. So this is the one I've set up. Now, what you're looking at here is, by default, the news that I have set up in the various categories that I've created. To look at those categories, you can come up to this folder and click it here. And then you come over, you can see the categories that I have already populated in this news aggregator. Uh, such as blogs, financial, tech blogs, tech news, world news, etc., etc. All right. If you expand one of these, like tech news, you can see that I have some feeds set up already. CNET, Gizmodo, TechCrunch, etc. And if I click TechCrunch, for instance, it brings up just TechCrunch-specific stuff, and uh, it gives all of the the uh, articles in teaser form. Uh, well, this is actually the full article that's set up uh, here by default. And then article by article, you can uh, read your news. Now, if you don't want to read it in the uh, news aggregator itself, then all you need to do is hover over the link and click it. It takes you out to the website uh, to read the full article from the web. And then you can close it. And then you're back to the, uh, the news aggregator. Okay. All right, so if you want to set up this for yourself and you don't want to use the categories of I, that I have set up, then you'll need to do a couple of things. One of the first things you'll need to do is you'll need to send me an email and the email address, and I'll put this email address on the website so that you have it, is drupalmaster at wnclinuxusersgroup.com. Uh, and in that email, you need to tell me the username that you would like to use and the initial password that you would like me to set up when I create your account. We do not have the ability here for you to create your own account. I have to create it for you, and I'm willing to do that. It's not a problem. Um, once I create that account for you, I'll email you back, let you know the account is set up, and then what you'll need to do is go ahead and log in with the initial username and password that you provided me. And for the purposes of this video, what I've done is I've created a... a uh, a demo uh, username and password, if you will, uh, that pretends to be the one that you send me. Now, the username is called demo, and the password is demo demo, all one word. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. So this is what you would be doing with your own username and password that you gave me. 
you click the login button, come over here and you would put in your username. In this case, it's demo for me. And then down here for the password, you'd put in your password that you provided. Here for me, it's demo, demo. Okay, and then click login. All right, so once you do that, it logs you into this basic screen here uh, and tells you there are no articles to show. Now you have no categories, you have no articles. You do have a mainstream, there's nothing in it. And, uh, and so this is what you have. First thing you'll wanna do is you'll want to come over to this gear in the upper right hand corner, click the gear and come down to profile. So click profile. Your demo is the current user, whatever the current user that you provided, that will be showing up there. Don't worry about email address, but you can put your email address in there if you want to, but just leave it blank for now. Come down to password. This is where you will put in the password that you want to use that only you know, all right? And so for the purposes of this particular video, I'm just gonna make it simple and put in all lowercase the word password, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D has to be at least seven characters, okay? Once you do that, click Submit, and that's all you need to do. Now your password has been changed, all right? So let me click, uh, I've got RoboForm set up here, so let me click Not Now, and close that. All right, so now what you'll need to do is come back over and log in again, put in Demo, or whatever your particular username is, and for the purposes of this video, I changed the password on the username demo to password. I'll put that in and click login. And back in again. So now we have the new password set up and uh, you would have yours set up. And uh, I don't have any way of seeing your password. All right, so um, this would be only accessible by you. First thing you'll wanna do once you get back in here under your own profile, with your new username and, or with your new password. You cannot change your username, by the way. I need to let you know that. Once you provide me with a username, that's good to go and you can't change that. So uh, once you get your password changed, what you'll need to do is come over here and under this subscription management, don't click this window here or a button here, but click the plus sign and, uh, and it opens up a uh, window here that you can add categories to. All right, so I'm going to create three categories for the purposes of this video. One of the categories is going to be tech news. Now, you don't have to do this. You can change it to anything you want. You don't have to use what I'm using, but if you want to replicate it, that's fine. So tech news is one of them. I'm going to click add. And so that brings up tech news as one of the empty categories. All right. Come back over here to the left-hand side, to the uh, sidebar and click on the add a feed or category cate uh, link again and come back up to category and let's add a new category. I'm gonna call that US News. Click the add button again. And now you have two categories you've added. So uncategorized by the way is the default and it, you can't delete it. So just leave it alone. Anything that you create that isn't any uh, under any particular category here will fall under uncategorized. So we have tech news and we have US news now. So now let's come back and create that third category. So let's click the add a feeder category. And I wanna call this one world news. All right, and click the add button. So we have three categories, tech news, US news, and world news. Okay, now that we have our three categories set up, uh, we need to set up our news feeds and so let me go out to my computer to where I have stored uh, the three categories and three feeds associated with that. And uh, you get the RSS feeds, by the way, from the actual website itself. So you'll need to search for the RSS feed. And not every new site has an RSS link, but most do. And so uh, you'll need to do that. But I've provided three of them here. If you want to use these three, that's that's fine. You can do that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this one up, and uh, it's, this one's called TechCrunch, okay? And the main thing you need to, to look at here is the RSS feed itself. So let's go ahead and copy this, and uh, just grab it, right-click and copy, 
and let's go back out to the web and then let's go and click on that link add a feed or category and this time instead of a category we're going to add a feed and so we, in this box where it says feed URL right click and paste it in there and then down here under category down arrow and select tech news that's the category you want to add that feed to click add and that brings this window up which shows you the title is TechCrunch the description is automatically populated for you startup and technology news the website URL is automatically populated for you as well and then the feed URL is what you provided all right and then the category is tech news is what you selected once you've done that then click click on submit and then when you submit click outside that window and now you have TechCrunch loaded underneath tech news now let's go grab one for the US news and so come up here to my RSS feeds and right click and I'll open that one up and here we have um, US news which is I've selected Fox News alright so let me grab the RSS feed for Fox News so I will highlight that and right click and copy that let's go back out to the website and let's go back to that left sidebar and uh, add a feed or category click that opens this window up again and under the feed URL right click and paste the uh, Fox News uh, website URL for the feed in here in this window down arrow under the category and select US News and then click add and that brings up this window now showing you that it has added the title, uh, the description is auto-populated, the website URL is auto-populated, the feed URL again is what you provided, and then the category is what you selected. Now, I don't want this latest and breaking news of Fox News. I don't want that whole thing. All I want is the Fox News portion. Um, so it's up, kind of up to you. You can leave it the way it is, but I don't like that long title. So what I'm going to do is select here in front of Fox News and back arrow and get rid of everything up to Fox News. All I want to see is Fox News. Once I'm done with that, uh, I'm going to click Submit and then click outside the window. And now that I have Fox News loaded under US News. The last thing we need to do now is create one for World News. So let me go back to my RSS feeds. Right click here and open up the World News. So that World News opens up. And the one I selected for that was dw.com and uh, that's Deutsche Welle and so I'm going to go ahead and select the RSS feed right click and copy that and then go back to the website and again go to the add a feeder category and click it right and in the feed URL it's flashing there with the cursor right click and paste that in so that's the URL feed URL for Deutsche Welle news Select the category of World News. This is out of Berlin. And so then click Add. And now that should bring up this window, which is Deutsche Welle. You can leave it Deutsche Welle, or you can change it to DW, whatever you want to change it here. The title field is something that you can you have freedom to change. The description you can change as well, but I'm going to leave it as Deutsche Welle. Again, the website URL is pre-populated. The feed URL is what you provided. The category is World News, and now let me go ahead and select Submit. Click Outside, and now I have Deutsche Welle set up in the World News area here. Okay, so now let's go up to, to the Fresh RSS, click that, and you can see now that we have our three categories loaded. All right, and we have under Tech News, we have Tech Crunch. Under US News, we have Fox News. And under World News, we have the Deutsche Welle. Okay, so if I select that, only Deutsche Welle News pops up. Now you're looking here at the normal view for your RSS feed. If you want to see the reading view, you can come over here and click that, and that's the reading view. All right, there is another view, I think it's called Global. Global view is nice because you can see the tech news, US news, and world news categories in a global view so you can switch 
you know, to World News. You can just switch straight to Fox News or straight to TechCrunch, whichever way you want to do it. Uh, and then this one's a normal view. So let's go back to reading view. And then again, uh, some of the uh, sites have pictures, some do not. This one, in this particular case, does not. But let's say this particular, I'm going through here and I'm reading my news. And you don't have to even open it up. If this category or this article doesn't appeal to you, you don't, you don't even have to open it. Just pass it up. But on this one, Russia arrive, arrests protesters on Ukraine war anniversary. Okay, that one appeals to me. I, I want to read it. This is a uh, what's called a teaser. It's not the entire article here, so I can't read it here within uh, the RSS news aggregator anyway. So I'm just going to click on the link. It's going to take me out to the DW News website, or should take me out to the DW News website. And looks like they're... Maybe an issue with uh, the site here. Let's see if another one comes up with the same issue. Uh, there we go. So it's an issue with that particular link. Uh, but anyway, remembering George Harrison on his 80th birthday. Uh, this is the article that I will be reading here. And once I'm done, uh, I can just simply close that and come back here and continue on. Anytime you want to change away from Deutsche Welle to another one, uh, you can go one of two ways you can do it. You can go to the global view, and let's say if you want to read tech news now, you might have four or five category, uh, RSS feeds under here, so you don't necessarily have to choose this one. But let's say if I want to choose TechCrunch, then it brings me to a full page uh, link here showing this particular information uh, on the site itself. And once I'm through looking at uh, this particular page, then I just, uh, to get back to the site that I was on before, just come up and click the back button on the browser, and that takes me back to this page, all right, and then I can go on from here. All right, so um, anytime you want to return to the uh, main screen for Fresh RSS, just come up to Fresh RSS and click that, and that takes you back here, so you can look at your three categories. Um, and, you know, the news that you have here as well. Uh, if you want to look at only unread mail, you can click this button here, and any unread mail you would have would populate down below. Uh, and if you want to update the feed, all you have to do is come over and click this button here, and that goes out and updates the feed itself. Right now we have... 199 uh, articles available, uh, 20 of which are tech news related for TechCrunch, the 20 here. We have 25 for U.S. News, which is Fox News, 25. And then we have for World News, uh, 154 for Deutsche Welle. Okay. All right. So um, you can also update uh, through this menu as well. Uh, you can see the website itself, you can manage, you can update, or you can mark as read. If you want to mark this entire lot of articles as read, you can just click that button right there and it will read every one of them for you and mark them as read. And so when you come up here to, to, to view only the unread ones, there aren't any. Um, here we have article articles repartition. Um, you can see here for Deutsche Welle News, you can manage that. You've got 158 uh, articles, four of them read, 154 of them unread. And uh, it shows you here per hour uh, average 0.23 messages that you have uh, been reading. And per week, it shows you the average number per month, etc., etc. That's pretty pretty neat. All right, so let's, uh, let's go back to main statistics. For main statistics, you have... Uh, total, read, unread, and favorites uh, for the top 10 feeds that you have on your particular setup. All right, this is your website for all intents and purposes because it's bringing you your news. And so you can uh, take a look at that uh, right from here. A lot of statistics that you can take advantage of. Uh, and uh, here's a pie chart showing you the percentage of world news articles available, the percentage of tech news, percentage of U.S. news. It's pretty slick. Uh, feeds per, per category, okay, and then this one was entries per category, 
All right, and then this one's a histogram of entries per day, last 30 days, all right? And so uh, you can just hover over and it'll show you the actual number as well. Let's come back to fresh RSS and uh, let's see if there's anything else I wanted to talk about here. Um, you can change the order in which these are presented. If you do oldest first and then if you click the up arrow, it will be newest first. So the newest articles will be on top. The older articles will be on the bottom. I switch it back. I like to see the oldest articles first. Um, mark is red, and then uh, you can click that down arrow here, and uh, you can say older than one day or older than one week. And then here you can select this, select this down arrow, and bookmark the current query. So if you have user queries you've set up, you can bookmark them uh, using this link here. Um, show non-favorites. Here is show favorites. So if you marked any of these as favorite by toggling the favorite. So let's say this article, China urges Russia, Ukraine, ceasefire, peace talks, happens to be a favorite of yours. You can uh, come over and just select it as a favorite. And then if you select that, it's the only one that shows up because it's the favorite. Okay, so when you're done, uh, you just come over to here and where the gear is, select it. Look, go down and log out as your user and now you're logged out so you'd have to log back in again if you click on RSS um, it brings you to the main site and shows you the default because you're not logged in your profile your account shows you the default again of the uh, uh, news feeds and categories that I as the administrator have set up all right so I hope this was useful for you and um, so I look forward to anyone who wants to set up their own profile in Fresh RSS, get their news brought to them daily on their desktop uh, under their own profile uh, so that it doesn't mix in with anybody else's profile. This is the way to do it. If you have any questions, you can always uh, uh, send me an email at drupalmaster at wnclinuxusersgroup.com. Uh, you can use the links internally on the website to send internal email and uh, use that method uh, for sending me information as well. Um, so this has been Dan Calloway, webmaster for the Western North Carolina Linux Users Group. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.